Welcome everybody. In this lesson we're going to be learning about creating a pipe network by layout in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll create a pipe network using the Autodesk Civil 3D pipe network layout tools. The pipe network is associated with a surface and alignment and uses parts taken from a standard parts list. This exercise continues from creating a pipe network from a polyline. So let's specify some pipe network creation parameters. Go ahead and open up your pipe networks dash 1B drawing in your tutorials folder. Now this drawing contains an existing ground surface as you can see right here, an alignment which you can see right here with road 1, also, we have some existing ground and layout profiles. It also contains a surface that's been exported from a corridor that uses the alignment as its baseline. In the drawing, go ahead and zoom into the area between the 7 and 11 station. In the tool space, under the Prospector tab, go ahead and navigate to Pipe Networks. And then under Networks, go ahead and select Create Pipe Network by Layout. Now alternatively, you can also go to your Home tab and then to your Create Design panel. And then under Pipe Network, click the drop down menu and select Pipe Network Creation Tools. Now we have our Create Pipe Network dialog box. We'll go ahead and leave the network name alone for right now and we'll also keep the network parts list to standard but with the surface name we're going to change that and we're going to change it to road one surf for the alignment we're going to select road one and we're going to leave everything else at its default go ahead and click OK Now we have our Network Layout Tools toolbar and you'll see off to the side we have a new pipe network. Now you'll see within this pipe network collection that it's currently empty. You'll add parts to the network in the following steps. So let's begin drawing continuous pipes and structures. In the Network Layout Tools toolbar Go ahead and select a structure. Expand the eccentric cylindrical structure and select 48. In the pipes list, we're going to select the 18 inch concrete pipe. Now within this drop down, ensure that pipes and structures is selected. Then ensure that the upslope downslope option is set to downslope. Currently it's set to downslope. Right now within our command line, Civil 3D is asking us to specify the structure insertion point. So on the command line, enter in apostrophe SO to activate the station offset civil transparent command. Press enter. Now it's asking us to select an alignment. Go ahead and select one of the station labels for road 1. On the command line, enter 700 as the station. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Now in the command line, let's specify an offset. Let's type in negative 15. Now if we go ahead and zoom in a little bit here, now you can see a catch basin is placed at the specified point. The offset is designed to position the catch basin so that the outside edge is flush with the outside edge of the road shoulder. With the station offset command still active, create another structure by entering in 800 for the station and negative 15 for the offset. A second catch basin is created. The two structures are connected by a pipe of the type specified in the pipe list. 
the pipes follow a downhill slope based on the corridor's surface terrain and the design rules for the type and size of pipe. Later you'll view the vertical placement of the pipes you created in a profile view. To change the direction of the vertical pipe network layout, toggle the upslope downslope button like this. With the station offset command still active, create additional structures with an offset of negative 15 at stations 950, 11, and 1250. Now as you place the catch basins, the connecting pipes are created with slope values specified by the design rules and the upslope downslope setting. Press enter to end the station offset command. Now let's draw a curved pipe with a structure. Zoom in to the area between the 1250 and 1300 station. Go ahead and click Pipes and Structures. We're going to continue from our last structure and you'll see a little icon that pops up. Go ahead and click that structure. We're now connected to it. Now with the drawing command still active on the command line, enter C to begin creating a curved pipe. And now to specify a second point of a curve, let's click right in this region here. Now we'll specify the endpoint with a structure. Go ahead and type in apostrophe SO for station offset. Select our alignment and then we're going to specify the station of 1300 with an offset of negative 15. So that's how you go about creating a pipe network by layout in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.